Okay, we're going to be talking about the procedural actor spawner. Um, this is the guy we use to spawn uh, blueprints or actors uh, procedurally onto our terrain. This is just vape, whatever you're seeing here, um, onto our terrain. So let's take a quick look at it. Um, so we created this blueprint here. Um, it's got a box extent. So it will use this box extent to determine um, the extents of um, where to spawn in. So it will only spawn within this within this uh, box. And then it will try to cast the ray down from the top of the box and look for terrain. Um, randomly uh, specified by however many um, I specified by however many actors you want to spawn max actors. In this case, we're using 32. Um, and then you also tell it what classes you want to spawn. So for this one, I chose this blueprint and you can choose multiple classes. This is just a simple little static mesh um, component. So it's a blueprint that just contains one, but you can have anything in this blueprint. It can contain code, whatever you want. So this works differently to the procedural um, footage spawner from Unreal Engine because that uses instant static meshes. So you're not going to be creating forests with um, this spawner. You will kill um, your machine. So don't don't spawn um, don't spawn static meshes using using this or or hundreds or thousands. You know, hundreds and thousands of them. It's not going to work. Um, unless you're 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 culling them really, um, you know, really really closely, but for this case, um, I'm only going to be spawning 32. So let's see. So um, we do this by we do this by running um, the simulation here. I've switched on debugging, so it'll also show where it spawned them. So if I were to run the remove and spawn it again. You'll see it's going to be in exactly the same place again because we're using a random seed here. So this random seed will determine um, where it must spawn. And then these guys, if you take a look at them, they're actually parented to the to the spawner, so they'll they'll move along with them. But they're also individual. Um, they've actually been placed in the level by you know by code, but they're completely interactive. You can change their blueprint properties. You can move them around. But if you do use um, if you do fire any of the if you run the simulation again, um, they'll just simply reset back to where they were. And they will completely be respawned, so you're going to lose any changes that you made. So be careful of that. And then also, um, it also does random, a little bit of a random scale and random rotation and things like that. So you'll see not all of them have the same scale. Like here's an example here where you can see two of them, uh, different scales. All right, and let's quickly take a look in the code and see how we did it. So we're extending a actor. We're exposing a box component, and then we're using the um, property change on run simulation and remove all to do something. And then here's our array of classes to spawn. And then we've got some various properties here, nothing too serious. We're wrapping them um, with a compiler directive with editor, so that um, because this code will not compile if you try and package it, because um, this code is only for for the editor. And then we're calling these functions here. And if you look at um, we need some special inclusions here, and you also need to you need to include editor and level editor, and then you also obviously need to have the correct module set here. You need to have Unreal Ed set if your target type is editor. Otherwise, the package won't work. And we'll package this in a second, and then run the package build, and you'll see those those actors are still there. And then once again, you handle the post edit prop change property. We make sure check which one was was. Um, changed if it was one sim we go and we do our spawn and this is just doing a it's a very simple algorithm we're not doing anything as complex as the procedural footage spawner so we're just initializing our random seed um, going until we have enough actors spawned or until we meet um, a condition where we've done this quite a few times and we haven't spawned anything we pick a random spot in the in in the box we do a sweat sphere from the top of the box down to the bottom of the box um, on, an, on, on a random x, y. So from the top of the z to the negative z extent of our box, random x, y, right? And then we see if we hit, um, what did we hit? Did we hit um, landscape? 
and uh, also something to just quickly show our, uh, our landscape here we've actually set if you look at the um, layer info we've actually set physical material on them so our grass layer info contains grass physical material our sand will contain a sand physical material so then we're using that to drive um, optionally drive um, to only spawn on specific layers so I can change this for example to sand and say okay rerun the sim and now it'll only spawn on the sand which is quite cool or if I change this to rock it should only spawn on the rock and similarly you can add more so I can have maybe rock and grass And then it should only spawn on the rock and grass. Okay, it did. I was just um, a little fast. Or you can uh, remove it. And the default is it'll just spawn um, on any layer. <clears throat> so the way we did that was just by specifying give us the physical material um, back from the sphere cost that's quite cool and then we're just doing some debug um, debug to the to the logs and some debug um, lines optionally and then this is where the spawn happens you actually just use the editor world you can't use the normal world and this is about to be deprecated um, as of Unreal 421 we're sticking with this engine we're not bumping up until we finish the game so in this case we need the editor world and we're asking the editor to spawn this actor and then we are attaching it to the um, spawner itself to the bl spawner blueprint here um, and then if you run the package game if i can find it if you can run the packaged game i'm just setting the um, FPS and units. So this is running the package game or a build, and you'll see they are here. Here they are. They're still here, and they've got collision set on them. Everything. Um, also, there I'm using culling, so you'll see as I'm going there, that one just popped in just above the character, and there he popped in. And let's go the other side, the other way, and he's popping out. That's because the static mesh component inside the blueprint actually uses LOD culling. It's not really LOD culling, it's just culling by distance. Anyway, I think um, that's going to be it for this video. Um, thanks a lot for watching.